right, all right. <clears throat> Go ahead, man. Let the people know where we're at. Hello, everybody. Um, this is another episode with the eight. You know, with me, Javi Loso, and your other co-host, D. Fossey. Monica's here with us as well today. See, I can't do it. It's just too monotone. I'm too monotone, G. You want to do it? Yeah. You just going to cut that part or what? You we'll put it in there. It's pretty funny. We'll just leave it in, man. It was a good attempt, man. You should have made more energy. And don't call me Defossey. Okay, let's go. Another episode of the eight. And don't call me Defossey. Don't call you by your... Your legal name. I mean, technically, D's not even my legal name. Oh. I wonder what that flag does. Well, all right, people. Ha <laughs> ha. Your motherfucking dynamic duo is back, bitch. Ooh, I like that. You got your boy Foss here. You got your boy Javi here. You got Monica on the ones and twos. Welcome to your favorite podcast, The Fucking Eight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold your applauses. Hold your applauses, people. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, people, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, if you've been um, in your parents' attic um, with the door locked, um, remember, we're on YouTube, okay? Like, subscribe, ring the bell, okay? Get Noti Gang. Well, yeah, get, get the notifications. Share it. Share it with your family. Share it with share your friends. It with, with your fucking, with your mom, your sister, your, your, your mom's sister, your sister's mom, okay? Which is your mom, daddy. I try to share it with my dad, but, you know, when uh, they don't get good reception in prison. so He still hasn't accepted a friend request on Facebook. Yeah, well, I delete, I blocked him. So you did, huh? Yeah, what a dirt bag. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Happy Halloween as well. Halloween episode. We were supposed to fucking dress up today. Oh, it is a Halloween episode, huh? But we is didn't it? dress up. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm actually dressing up as uh, the eight uh, host, and I'm dressed up as a man that has recently got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's wearing glasses. But you know, only people who watch YouTube would be able to tell. So. Yeah. Watch our OnlyFans. You, you'll see the video of the stripper twerking on my face. Yeah. Those that are subscribed, y- y'all already know what we're talking about. Those, those Mexican strippers mm. in Mexico. My favorite. Mm. It's called Torquita Asada Homes. Get it for the low. Get it for the low. They don't dance very well. But. Shout out to Aiden. I know he, I heard he got PS5 with all the dollars I was throwing out there. Aiden? Ross? No, Aiden. That's uh, the stripper's son. You know we have a stripper, actually? That, that falls, we know. That looks like, that falls us? We have her, but no, there's a... Monica's actually that was Monica's first stripper too, Natalia. Monica's first stripper. Yeah. Yeah, I miss her. <laughs> it's been a year and a half. We went to the strip Damn. club, bro, and hey, their chicken tenders fire. I heard the strip club got good food. I've only tried their food. No, actually, I've tried theirs, and then we went to um, what is it? Trails. Trails has a pretty good steak. <laughs> hey. Hmm. I, who was the steak, NBA player? Huh? You like yeah. that meat? Yeah, <laughs> they got good roast beef there. I heard. Oh, chill out. Good roast beef. That's why I don't think. I don't want to say. Actually, never mind. Yeah, what was that NBA player who like apparently went to the strip club to get just get some lemon pepper wings or something like that? Uh, that was uh, Lou Williams. Yeah, Lou Will Lemon Pepper Lou. Mm-hmm. Those wings look fire though. I don't know if they're from a strip club, but yeah, I heard that they they have the best wings. What's it called? It? Magic City. Magic City. They got the best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they got a lot of number one things over there too. Their chicken breast. And the breast fire, get a two for one special like a uh, chilies. Mm-hmm. Magic City Classic. No, that's a f- no Magic City. She's looking up uh, fucking football games. Yeah, but if a girl ever asks to dance for free on your face, just know it's not really for free. Cause I mean, what reviews they got? Go back up top. Yeah, I just pay for it. No, to the top. Oh, oh, okay. Welcome, welcome to Magic City. Where is this? Atlanta. Where it's Atlanta. Let's go. Oh it's like the number God. one strip club in the country. Really? Look, well, there's future right there. Where's Dude, this is shop? where we should go for your 30th birthday. Fuck, bro. I'm trying to go there for my fucking uh, bachelor party. Opening soon. What the fuck are you? No, no. Oh, it's just the merchandise. Magic City. Let's look at the photos. Look, there's a little Yachty. Jesus. Ah, damn. God damn. Ah, damn. You think they allow white women in there? Probably not. Oh shit! Maybe if they got like big titties or something. I'm close. I feel like Atlanta. It's only it's only black girls. In Magic City, you ain't catching a white girl in there. Not even Hispanic girl. 
I don't think there's probably that many Hispanics in Atlanta. No, there is. There's quite a bit. There is? Yeah. Chicken and bones. Chicken and bones. Yeah, she was slim. That girl's super slim, yeah. Super slim. A low key, you know, I'm you not might gonna throw, lie. You might throw some dollars at her. She might bounce back. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Oh, she looked kind of Latin. Go back to her. Oh, the homegirl's naked. She, Fully naked. She's butt naked. She looks like she stank too. Nah, she black. She black. She probably like Puerto Rican. Nah. Is that a white girl? Mm-mm. Asian? I think probably mixed. Like light skin. Jesus. Look but muscles. look, I thought, I low key thought Damn. that there'd be more ass. What do you mean? How, who, so what are the reviews? Who's leaving reviews at Megan? Damn, look at her abs. Speaking of that. Yeah, I remember I went to the script, script. I went to the script clip. The, the scriptures? I went to the strip club once and there was like this. Uh, oh, go to kitchen. Wait, go to kitchen. Keep this going Asian keep chick and she was pretty skinny and she was kind of busted. I'm not going to lie. But I did throw her money because she was being funny. She was throwing jokes while she was stripping. She was telling me some funny she things. She was throwing jokes? Yeah. No, she was just saying funny things. Her name was Miso. She's like, soup? Yeah. But she was like, Miso. And then she was saying, like, Miso horny. But she was saying it with an oh, accent. Shit. So it was cracking me up. So I was like, man, here you go. I'm going to throw some dollars at your ass. I feel that. Damn, look at that menu. You see, you can get lobster at this bitch or crab. Lobster was 10 piece oh, wings. The, the crabs? $10. The crabs are free. <laughs> 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 the crabs are on the house. Hmm. Now just go back. Go back to Google. And I just want to see the reviews. So I want to see who. And then I, can we see what, what the top strip club is? Like, is it really Magic just City? Type of Magic City. No, no, just type of Magic City. Right. Yeah, it was right there. What's that top? I don't think this is it. Yeah, three point. This is cannabis. No, down. This one is. 3.8 stars out of 500 reviews? Damn. I thought it'd be better, honestly. Who fucking reviews? <laughs> Can you imagine that? I walked out of that bitch. Break the fuck up. What is What's say? a bad review? What's that one star review say? Order a well done steak and my food was mooing on the plate. Well, bitch, don't. Okay. don't who, who orders a well done steak? I would have fucking right? undercooked that bitch too in the first place. <laughs> Just to piss you off. What does that three star review say? Um, these adorable little winglets are the barely legal version of chicken wings. They're so it's definitely just not from full grown old chickens. Definitely the smallest I've ever seen. So it's reviews on the food. It's just a few. What's that? What's that? Uh, one star say? I came to Magic City on a Monday and I it lived up to the hype. The food was amazing. Oh, Damn, okay. bitch wrote a fucking article, bro. What's she um, saying? She gave shit. it. No, she, she said, gave it one okay. star though. At the end of the day, I was out of $6 because I left a listening party and Uber to Magic City to pick up food only to leave with no food and additional expenses. Mm. So it sounds like you had a good time. It's just uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Twerk, 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 twerk that ass, as they mm. say. Anyways, moving on. Um, I can't do the pod now. I'm all fucking... Bricked it? Fuck. My fucking vision is blurry now. I can't see shit from my right eye. Is that the sty or just the... Yeah, it's is that the is that the diabetes? A little bit of both. <laughs> or the ADHD, that, that, the ADHD. Diabetes. Oh Jesus! Look at this girl. She's out here really. She's spinning on her head. Oh, we gotta get off this shit, bro. Yeah, let's get off. Ethica, they got Ethica. Let's get off before I get off. <laughs> 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 All right. How was your How was your week? My week. Let's see. Um, my cousin came from California, so we had family dinner on Friday. Uh, that's why I didn't get online. I got online, but we got online pretty late. When you went to your mom's house? Yeah. Oh, bro, it's funny because we're eating at the table, and, you know, my mom made ribs and rice, and there's chicken, and I'm eating the chicken, and I'm like, damn, mom, this shit came out good. I was like, this almost tastes like pollo campero, which is like a Salvadorian KFC kind of a thing, but they have some of those restaurants. Was that, it fried chicken or just? It's fried chicken. Um, I, I want you, I want, maybe one day we can go somewhere where they have it. Cause I want you to try it. It's pretty fire. Have you just, ever had pollo campero money? No. Let's just go uh, to your mom's house. No, True. chill. Senor Leti? Wait, we can't go to It's cause it's not the same. I mean, we can, but, um. Do they, do they have it in Utah? Oh, look at pollo campero. No, they have, I pollo think they campero. have some in, uh. Oh, this shit looks fire. And, um. It looks like fucking Popeyes. Popeyes, yeah. They have some in, um, they have one in Vegas, I think, and they have them in Cali. Is this American? Uh, no, it's uh, Salvadorian. No, no, but, I mean, it's been like, kind of it, Americanized. Is it, is it in America? Yeah, they have some in America, yeah. Um, it looks like legit like fucking Popeyes. But, bro, the chicken is so fire. And I, I told my mom, I was like, yo, like, I was like, this almost tastes like that. And they started laughing because my since my cousin came from, I just forgot that, you know, it is in America as well. 
But um, since my cousins came from Cali, they brought like a whole big ass box of it. Oh, and that that shit's just so fire, bro. But it's better well, fresh though. This obviously. is getting me way more bricked up than the Magic City. Will they have yuca fries? Yeah, see, yuca yuca is like things. a Salvadorian. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's entirely Salvadorian, but it's a plate that Salvadorian they look, does. They look ass. What's a yuca in, in English? I don't know. Isn't what it you- yam? So it's like a fried yam. I mean, if it's that's what it. Yeah. No, it's like this one. Oh, you typed in yam. Just having yuca. Oh yeah, yeah. Type in what's yuca. See the pictures, Pablo. Literally the same thing. It's it's brown though. Yeah, it says. Nah, it looks like a I, shaft. I, see, I know that shit look ass. It looks like an old I man shaft. That it looks shit. like a dookie. That shit looks ass. Yeah, the I don't. I don't. I don't like. Just I like me, their chips. Just give me the fries. I'll just take the fries with a, a chicken sandwich. But that was pretty fire on Saturday. Watch the fights. The great fights. We can talk a little bit of it if you wanted to. But the um, fights were good. I, I only watched the. Uh, the O'Malley the one event. In the, in the oh, the O'Malley. Event. Oh, bro, the O'Malley fight was crazy. I thought for I thought, a second, I thought Homeboy wasn't gonna win it. I thought he was about to go night night. Oh, low key too. He but was getting punched. It was a great fight. He hard. definitely showed. You know, he's. I feel like he's 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 shown that he's you know, he's a he's a top dude. He's a top a top G. Yeah. yeah, for that Islam. It was a great fight too. It was dope. Um, I yeah. feel like uh, the way he got was it. It's not the triangle choke. It's the. Uh, it was a. What's that single arm? It's like a dance. It's I think it's called the dancer or no, something like that. No, it's not anything like the dancer. No, it's something sir though. <laughs> Bancer. Look up Bancer choke. No, it's not that. I would hear as soon as I heard it, I would like this. I can't see anything. Just just put choke. Type in like single arm choke. headlock UFC. Just put choke. No, don't listen to Foss. No, it, single arm headlock. Look at images though. Fuck. Do you supposed to know? Just Google things? type of chokes. <laughs> UFC <laughs> submission. Good old fashioned moves. fucking wife choke. UFC submission names. Type that. UFC submission. That's just MMA. Oh yeah, or MMA. Yeah, I could have done that. Okay, go to all. You gotta go to no. We gotta go to. It's not that one. Right there. Just click on the twenty five most. Oh, painful. No, it's not that one. Nope. 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 Oh, that's what it is. Darce choke. It's a Darce choke. No, it's not. Look it up. I'll put money on it right now. How much you want to bet? 20 bucks. Look up Darce choke. Okay, bet. Are we betting on this? Yeah. Heard it live. Yeah. Thank Boom. You. That's not what he got. That's to- what it was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it was not. Yeah, it was. Look right here. Look at the bottom one. Monica with a bald dude. That's what it was. <laughs> no, it's not. It was not a Dar show. You owe me twenty dollars. No, I don't. Type in Oliver versus Islam, and keep that. No, keep that page up though. No, take off. Take <laughs> off <the page. laughs> yeah, he fucking knows. It's not the fucking uh, versus Islam. Just, or yeah, yeah. And then go to images. No, look up. Let's see. Hold what, on. They have to say how how he submitted it. Um. Uh, Type in submission after now. Behind it, yeah. Now let me go pick. Okay, go, go right click there. on it. The, click on the article. Does it say exactly what it was on? That's not anywhere near the pictures. Yeah, it is. You're sure? No, it's yeah, not. it is, bro. It's just okay, on okay. the ground. Okay, buddy. Does it say what kind of choke? I can't reach it. Should we call Joe right now on the on the... On the Bluetooth? Let's, let's phone a friend. Yeah, uh, Monica, can you uh, click the FaceTime thing? No, no, yeah, it's still it's at the top right. Oh, this is in your iPhone. Go top. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, no, see, I'm not trying to do that. Is it still recording? Are, are they even recorded? I don't even know. Did I hit record on my shit? Yeah. Do you know his phone number? By memory? No, nah, fuck it. Who just cares? look at You can look at the phone number right there. Can you just type in um, how did... What's his name? Uh, oh, Oliver. Oliveira. How did he lose? Just type in. <laughs> you owe me $20, though. No, I don't. It's a Darce choke. No, it's not. Thank you. Darce choke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> $20, baby. Wait, when is this? No, hold on, though. Oh, it is. Hold anyways, on. this is it. Yeah, it was a triangle choke. That's why, as soon as I heard it, I would. So, anyways, yeah. I just feel like fucking triangle choke. I've never been putting a triangle choke. But I bet you if we go back to that list of the most painful submissions, I bet you're dying on the list. 
Well, it's because uh, he was smarter, but you're, 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 bro, he literally almost knocked him out with that punch. Well, I know. So just, he was out, and then he put him in that choke, and then when dude actually came back and was able to react, he was already in the choke and he tapped out. Let you, me put you in a triangle choke and tell I, me you I'm can just stay saying, in it. I'm saying, like, I'm saying it probably, like, it's a good submission. I'm just like, ah, oh, it looks like, out of all the submissions, it might be one of the weakest ones, though. Might be one, like one of the bottom five, like looking wise, like all, like you're just maybe because your arms up. Maybe I'm not getting the anatomy maybe because the blood is like, uh, I don't know. Go back to that article you were looking at, though. Can you find that article? And these the, dudes are squeezing super the, hard. The bro. worst. It's, like it's the worst. These guys are strong most men. Pain, it's the most painful MMA submissions or UFC submissions. I think I could put you in the easiest, like the weakest one in here and it'll still be painful. MMA or UFC? UFC. I'm just trying to find that article. They you put are, you in I'm, a chokehold. Okay, right go back to that article. Go back to that. Click the down. Down. Let's see if who's who did this article. Bleach report, arm triangle choke number twenty five. Called it. I literally said it's probably the one of the weakest ones. I'm not saying it doesn't hurt. Yeah. I'm just saying out of all the submissions, and look, Bleach report had it at the weakest one, as yeah. far as pain wise. Yeah. That's great. see. I it just looks like I'm just saying like how many chokes is there though? Because if twenty five, like who knows? Like if it's like out of a hundred, that's still kind of. I mean, there's probably a lot. Yeah, that's still top twenty-five is pretty good, but it's it sti- made the list. It still looks like one. It of the, made the list. It looks like one of the weakest. I'm like, it looked like a weak way to go out, though. No, it looks yeah, but I'm pretty sure. Let me put you in that triangle. I'm, yeah, I'm saying, I'm like, people are probably gonna like scold me, like, oh fuck it, yeah, like you're saying, like, oh, let me put him in a triangle. I bet he fucking pass out. Like, nah, I'm fucking, I'm getting up and slamming you. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not getting up and slamming me. Maybe somebody else, but yeah, go, you can't slam go back, me. Go back to the picture. There's no way to the you're right? slamming me. No, to the right. Oh, fuck. Where's the aloe vera one? Go back. Just get back, I think. No, it's a new page. Yeah, it's a new page. Dang, Monica. And I'm telling you, this dude had just been knocked, almost knocked out. So when he put him in that choke, he was already, like, he wasn't fully there. And then he, you started seeing him once he, like, Look at that! I don't I'm think I'm, I don't think I'm getting tapped out by a triangle choke though. You are. Wow. I think I can. I think if if someone has a gym out there and it's listening and and because all you, I, I just gym. feel like I feel like your arm is bracing the choke. Like it it, it doesn't have a lot of uh, strain on your neck because your arm is he's squeezing onto your like arm and the other side of your neck. So like, where's the? I don't know. Are you losing consciousness? Is the blood rushing to your head because your arm's up? Like maybe what, it can snap your arm. What's the science know. behind it? I get an arm bar. That should break your arm off. Man. That shit. Rear naked choke. Look, you couldn't. You better make him pass out. Like, I get those ones. Like, I, I get those ones. I'm just like, I don't understand the triangle. Man, I just don't know. I'm just like, that's a weak way to go out, Oliver. That's what I'm saying. That's my take. Hot take. Hey, hot take. It's a weak way to go out. So you're basically calling him a pussy. Huh? So you're calling him a pussy. Damn, look at this one. Yeah, look. See? I get those. Pull you, Break your arm. So you think you can stay five seconds in one of those? A triangle choke? Yeah. I don't know. It depends on who's putting me in it. Am I, am I, is it, is it on the line for, how much do you think they get paid for that fight? $250,000 at least? Championship fight? But it's because, bro, Oliveira is a fucking dog. Like, for him to... I, I'm passing out at least before I'm tapping out on that one. For two hundred fifty thousand dollars, I don't even like Oliveira this much, but I'm like willing to defend this dude. Like he's, he didn't just tap out to tap out. Like if he, this man could have gone through it, he would have gone through the fight. We think he tapped out because he was getting his ass kicked the fight. He was getting no, he, he was getting wasn't. whooped. He was not getting whooped. Bro, homie had him in the half mount for a good amount of fight and was just getting blows to the face. Was he not? When he had him in that half mount, he was on the on the fence. Yeah, you're only talking about one part of that the was, fight. That was that was. It only lasted two rounds. Monica, can you look up the stats of the fight, please? He, it only lasted two rounds, and I, they were up for a minute. Then he took him down, and then he had him in that half mount for a good amount of the fight. That top one should probably do it. I, what am I even wanting? I can't even fucking see shit. There you go. So look, let's see. So headshots. Okay. So, so twelve or thirty-five doesn't really tell us. Signature uh, strikes. Look at this. It's fine. Ground four out of five. I don't know what that means. That like he just took him to the ground. Okay. 
But it doesn't say how long he was in the, the like the, the the ground. How long they were on the ground for though? No, I know. Wait, 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 wait. They go down, down. Well, yeah, Islam had him on the ground for most of the time. But then you go to the Sean O'Malley fight. He was literally put down on the on the floor for five minutes, and he lost. He won that fight. Put down for five minutes. Yeah, he was on the ground. Well, you're just saying oh, you're right saying, now. Oh, you're saying like Peter Yan. Peter minutes? Yan had homeboy on the ground a lot of times. I know, and he I, was going off on him. I, I get right? it. I get it. I'm just saying, like, but Sean O'Malley won. I, I get it, but I'm just saying Islam was when they had him on the ground. He's beating his ass. I'm not. Yeah, and I'm just. I'm just being devil's advocate. I wanted Islam to win, and he won. He showed everybody that he could do a stand up game. Everybody knows he's good on the ground and wrestles, but he was he was staying on his feet too. Him and Khabib should fight. I know they're best friends, but look, paint this picture, right? Khabib's never fighting again. I know, but it'd be like. He comes out of retirement, right? And it's like that old, it's kind of like um, like the Darth Vader Palpatine kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? The old, the apprentice wants to take over the master. So then he calls him out, right? Calls him out. Khabib, I'm ready. And they fight. That's going to sell tickets. It's going to sell. Yeah, but That's he's it. not going to do it. He, t- he promised his mom he wouldn't fight after his father's death. I come out of the retirement to honor my father. Cute. <laughs> Be dishonoring his I've, mom I to, and his father. I have to kill you now. No. He should fight fucking... What's his name? Fucking... I forgot, I forgot his name. GSP? Oh, Hasma. Hasbula? Cosma. Oh, Hasbula. That's the only reason why... That's why he won. He's Hasbula, won Hasbula, Hasbula, Hasbula in your corner? You're winning. I you know think he's he might only, fight. You know he's only like 20 years old? Like 21? He's like, yeah, he's in his 20s. I thought he was like 45. He's a young goat. Look, he looks he looks forty. These guys all look like Abraham Lincoln's. No, they do not. Like they just have like a factory of like Have you seen B, Abraham, I don't think you've seen Abraham Lincoln's like, like B grade Abraham Lincoln's. How tall is Hasbul like two foot seven? Probably. He's like, like he's probably like three two. Like nah. incested these are like incest Abraham Lincoln's. No, they all they look uh no, they don't look like they don't look like Abraham Lincoln. They look like um that's not even. That's what America wants you to think. Got Abraham look like. They got the ears and the. Bro, homie, f- homie, fucking free <laughs> slaves. He's stressed the fuck out. True, and he was gay. Amish. They look like Amish people. Like, keep that picture up, and then type in fucking Amish on another search. Islam looks like he's Amish. Maybe because it's like old school. I don't know. I'd like to see him put you in a fucking headlock. G. Look down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, those are like look like okay, those are like stereotypical. Those aren't even real. like that's not even real. That's like like a fucking none, none of these guys look like. Oh, not guy. okay, not not Amish. Like, uh, is it New York? Like that guy? Click that one. Oh, like the the New York Jew, like the yeah, New York Jews. <laughs> Jews? No, you they're can not say Jews. you can type Jews. No, just like there's like a I don't know what the type in New York. I know what you're there's talking like about a city like the New people York. that like live like off the. No, 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 no. They they have like big ass parties and shit. It was like a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, they're Jews. Kind of. What are they called? They're not. They're called something else. Yeah, like, like that. Like or the like, dogs. Have you seen them party though? There's like they go they wild. Go like, no, not that too. But it's like a thousand of them in a tight space. Like they got in trouble during COVID. Type in a party. Type in party at the top. Or bro. orthodox orthodox Jews. No, no. Party. You sh- oh, is, oh, is that what they're called? Let me fucking educate you guys. Yeah. Look at that. Go to images. Look. No, go top left. Look at that shit. Look how look how fucking tight packed those bitches are. COVID was just fucking having a fucking fat like that a, looks like a quinceañera, chief. <laughs> that looks like a fucking what's it called though the rodeo things. Oh shit! How what do you even move, bro? I be sweating my ass off. They oh, got those fucking God. thick ass. They got those thick ass hats on. Look at that shit. There's a whole bunch of fucking ants swarming a fucking something. But yeah, that's uh, my, how my week went. That's good, man. My weekend was I didn't do anything. I've just been fucking doing with house shit. It's fucking stressful. Oh, yeah. We couldn't even play FIFA the other day. You had me waiting for a long time. Yeah, to fucking read. You know, some most time, like I told you, you just read the terms. And you just don't even read the terms of the agreement. You just go to the bottom and just click sign. And How about I tell Fossey? I was like, because he's like, you got to make sure everything's right. And then this motherfucker wasted the 17 pages looking through everything. But what if something wasn't right? change anything. Better safe than sorry. No, I get you. you. I, heard get that? you. I know. I get you. But I just thought it was funny because I was just joking and being like, just fucking go to the bottom and sign everything. He's like, you got to make sure everything is right. And I was like, well, Fossey, yeah, was anything wrong? Well, yeah, at least I find out. That's, well, that's not the point. People keep telling me, like, 
Oh, you're gonna buy a house right now. I can't believe you're buying a house. Uh, you uh, never mind. What? Huh? Timmy, what? What are you gonna say? It's none of my business. But my dad was like, "Bossy shouldn't be buying a house right now." Why do you say that? Huh? Because he thinks that he says the house prices are gonna fall more. But they're they're only gonna go back up. I mean, that's what they're telling you. That's what you, you already know. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. I don't speak of these things. You're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have that. this. I'm just saying. I'm gonna have this house for thirty years. It's just crazy because no one's gonna know. No one knows. You're gonna have this house for thirty years. You're not telling me. But then I have other people like, oh, I have people tell me like, oh yeah, we're probably gonna go through a recession or or whatever. But then the houses are gonna go back up, just like they did. But another thing is, it's like, oh, Fossey shouldn't be buying a house. Let me put, let me paint this picture for you now because the house is gonna drop. Yeah. Okay. Say this house I'm buying right now is worth six hundred forty thousand dollars. Right. We go through a recession, whatever, the house drops to five hundred thousand dollars. Okay? Interest rates are at four percent. Let's just put a number up there. Four percent. They're at seven right now. They're at four percent seven percent with a six hundred and thirty thousand dollars house, whatever how much the house is. Or you go to recession, the house drops to five hundred K, interest rates are four percent. So one, when I put an offer on this house, it was a second offer I put on a house and it got accepted. Yeah. When the houses are 4% interest rate and the, 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 the house is $500,000, you're going to compete on some people like, oh, I'm competing with everybody from California. That's when, you're not hearing that anymore, anymore. No, I know because it's not a time to buy. That's not, that's not the case. Listen, listen, listen. No, but no, it is because the thing is like it's only harder then because that's when it's actually a good time to buy. But listen, listen to my point though. Listen, yeah. listen let, me, let me make my point and then you yeah. could put your okay. stance on it. I really don't want you to talk about it. No, I want to talk about it. I want people to know. I want the people to know. I mean, I okay, man. You say there's 20 offers in this house. First of all, when there's a buying market, quote unquote buying market, no one's going to put, say the house is at $500,000. No one's going to offer $500,000 in a buying market. They're going to put over. Then they know it's a buying market. They know that, oh my God, this is, I've had a, this, I've had to put in 17 offers in the past two months. I gotta. I, I really want this house. I really want this house. Now they're gonna start. People are gonna start offering. Someone's gonna offer. I want this house. I want to be the other people. They're gonna offer seven hundred thousand dollars for a house. So people are offering, and this was happening. I, I, I've talked to many realtors when I was shopping around. I know, but the realtors, are, bro, they're salesmen. I know they're they're trying to tell you buy a house, but, but I'm just saying, like in in COVID, it, even like friends, I have friends that are realtors who I'm not even. <coughs> I have friends that are realtors who I'm not going through. I so, think what my dad was kind of trying to say is like. I get what you're saying, but you're painting. I see the picture you're painting, and, and what, what you're saying makes sense. But it it comes to like when a recession really happens and people aren't buying houses, houses are cheaper, and banks need to finance people. And since people aren't buying houses, the interest rates are lower. Right. Even if it's not. So the thing is, what you want to do is well, from what he said, and I get once again reason why they want to talk about this. Have I ever bought a house? No. Have I ever been through the experience like you are? No. So I really don't want to put my two cents in because right. I haven't been there. I'm just relating what my dad said. My dad's bought like fucking three, four houses in the past. So he kind of does have some experience. Now he hasn't lived in 2022. He hasn't lived. I mean, he has, he hasn't lived in 2023, 24. The future is unknown. Like you said, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. No one knows. You know what I'm saying? But from his experience, you want to buy when the market's low, people can't buy the interest rate. You don't really care too much of it because interest rate always changes. Right. It's probably the reason why you're buying right now. Right. You know the interest rate is seven percent, but you know six months from now, if it drops down to four, you can refinance, and exactly. now you have a lower interest rate. Right. But the price you can't change price. Right. Price is whatever you buy. You right. know what I'm saying? Like your house could be worth, like you said, six whatever it is, six hundred thousand probably worth today. In a couple of years or months, it could be dropped. It could possibly drop down. Right. Five hundred thousand, but you can't do nothing at that point. At that point, now you're tanked. Right. Right. But then again. There's also that chance too that it will shoot up again. You know what I'm right, saying? Exactly. Like a house, but, but another thing is too is like everyone who's telling me to not buy a house is it in the same situation I am? Yeah. Like, and when I mean that, everyone who's not telling me to buy a house is already in a house. Yeah. Every, every single person. Yeah. No one is living in an apartment where they're paying two to three thousand dollars a month to nothing. Yeah. It's just going away, and I'm just throwing it in the fucking trash. Yeah. So why not just buy the house, refinance and whatever, and then, you know, move on my fucking life. That way I'm actually paying towards something that I have. 
But like going back yeah, to the at point, the end of the day is like if you feel comfortable with whatever decision you're doing, you're gonna do it, and then just do that. It, but another thing is too. Another thing is too. You can get right now, since a lot of people aren't buying houses. You can get the sellers to buy a lot, of, pay a lot of shit for you. Like buying a, buying a house, the closing cost, you know, could be six to ten thousand dollars or whatever in in that range. Maybe yeah, somewhere. and that's on the higher end. A year ago during COVID, when they're when when you're getting twenty offers on a house, you know, and and a one person told me this. She she works with me, and she was she. That's what I'm saying. You're like you're a salesman, but she was a loan officer for ten years before she came to my job, which was she came to my job for six months ago. So she was a loan officer during COVID. So she was like, I'm having people come to me, put in twenty, thirty offers to a house. They're not getting the house, so it's like it's a double edged sword. So it's like. Say, yeah, I bought a $500,000 house, but you fucking hate that house. But you're just putting out so many offers to see what's get approved. So that's what, so it's like, you, when it's a buying market, that's kind of the risk you have. You're, yeah. you're, yeah, you finally got approved, but you absolutely fucking hate this house. Yeah. But like, that's what you got approved for. You didn't want to pay $120,000 over the house, which is like people are maybe from California. That's the rumors you're hearing. Like, they're coming with cash, like blah, blah, blah. So it's like, that's the kind of dilemma you're at. And like, b- back in COVID, I would have to pay an additional $10,000 up front out of my own pocket, not in the loan for the closing costs. Now, the sell- their sellers are paying it for me. Yeah. They're giving me extra money to buy my interest rate down. So my interest rate is like, I got it to like six something now because they bought it. They gave me like $8,000 to buy it down. Yeah. But like during COVID, they weren't doing that because why would they do that? Because they're getting thirty different offers in the house. Yeah, they don't need they don't need to fucking do that. So it's like, I, I at first I was like, dang, people are, keep telling me why are you buying a house? Why are you buying a house? But like I'm like I'm talking to so many different people and I'm like, I think it's just a double edged sword. I think it's like, I think it's just with everything we do as humans, we always gotta put our two cents in no matter what yeah. it is. That's why I haven't told anybody. Like I, t- I think I've told you and like some of my coworkers. I've told a lot of my friends. People are like, oh, you're buying a house? Congrats, man. You didn't say anything. Yeah, like, I've said nothing but positive things. I've yeah. only told you this just because my dad said Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That same thing he was saying, and I listened to him, but I, at the same time, too, it's like, okay, cool. Like, it's my friend who's buying the house, not me. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it's like. Yeah, so it's like, that's why I haven't told anybody. And I, I know you're smart, too. So I know you, you're not someone that you just jump into something so blindly, you know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, you're getting a house. You, you know, it's, it's an investment, you know, right. and it will pay off sometime. Like, yeah, maybe next year if it does drop. If, again, big if, we don't even know. But then it's like in the future, who knows? Like, dude, like my parents' house, when they bought their house, they bought that house for like, I think like, I want to say, I think around like two hundred to maybe a hundred thousand dollars. Right. How house much is it fucking worth, worth now? For like probably, I don't know what it's worth, but I would, I would assume with what people are buying houses, it's probably like, I would say like five hundred thousand. And maybe. when did they buy that house? You don't oh, know the exact well, date. They just... bought that like in like two thousand. Let's see. I, I think I was in third grade, so. So they went through a recession. They went through the two thousand eight recession with that house. Yeah, they bought. Case. No, they bought that in that time. I mean, you got my dad had a dealership. So you I were mean, in third grade in two thousand eight. Where was I at? What two thousand eight? Two thousand eight. You're probably in like seventh grade. Probably, n- yeah. Because w- with us, we graduated. So I was in nineteen, born in nineteen ninety four. Okay, so put it this way: this is how I always remember how I graduated. Yeah, twenty twelve. You were in twelfth grade in twenty twelve. Oh, you yeah, were in eleventh yeah, yeah, grade yeah, 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 yeah. in twenty eleven. So you just so you're pretty much an A. So maybe. this was like two thousand three. Okay. Yeah. So they bought that house at whatever cost, a hundred thousand, let's say. In two thousand eight, maybe that house dropped to fucking not like it did that, but it dropped like seventy five thousand. Yeah. So they're not like freaking out, like oh my god, like oh my god, the yeah. house has dropped. But now they waited so many odd years. Now the house is worth quadruple, triple. So it's like yes, the house is gonna drop. I I I believe the house will probably drop. Yeah. But I've only had the house for eight one year. I got twenty nine left to go. Yeah. Before I even think about, I'm not, and probably who's to say I'm going to sell, I'm going to pay it off and sell it. I'm not even going to sell the house anyway. So ultimately I'm not going to sell it in the next couple of years anyways. Yeah. So who cares? I'm only going to rent it out and make equity on it and then buy another house. So like, I'm, I'm glad you said that because your parents went through a recession in that house and that house dropped. Yeah. But what did it do? You, like you said, it's probably worth quadruple to what they first bought it for. Yeah. Not to say this going to happen with this house. But, like, when they bought two, though, like, I don't know exactly how the times were then, but I know, because I remember seeing the paper, because I just had talked to my dad about it, because when we went to go see the house, I vividly remember picking up the paper, and I said on there, like, 250000 is what they were selling it for. Right. 
And it was at a time when my dad lowered that price to like 120. Oh, okay. So it's like, I know it was a, a I yeah. know the market wasn't on fire around that time. But he held out. And then it's like, yeah, I think it, it might have helped out the whole recession. Because the thing, when someone's heading into a recession, you kind of see it happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like five years ahead, maybe you, people were already like kind of heading that way. Because uh, it doesn't just happen like this. You know, it's like slowly, gradually you get there, I feel like. Yeah. Like, I and mean, inflation. we've been talking about graduate, I mean, a recession for a minute. Look exactly. Right now. 100%. 100%. And we're probably not going to hit it, hit it until like, if we do, who knows? 100%. You got to think about inf- inflation. So it takes two things for the market to kind of like go out of straight. Inflation has to hit and drop a lot. Yeah. And then so does the recession have to happen. But that's why they are trying to keep all these prices. The interest rates are so high. All this stuff is so high. So they don't want that stuff to happen. I think we're about, we might go through a recession because what China's doing, I don't know if you know what China's doing. China and oh, I, I have been hearing. Yeah, they signed a bill to to do some like gold currency or something. To, oh yeah, with Russia. With Russia, they want to so, make a. And they want to drop. They want to make sure they want to make the dollar. The not dollar, worth anything. exactly. Yeah, and so uh, that if they're succeeding with that, that would that would fuck us up. And Biden put out something. If you work in China, if you don't, you gotta you gotta quit your job and come home, or your your no, yeah, re- it's your gonna citizenship. Be, it's just gonna get crazy because the thing is that I think they want to. Take over Taiwan as well. Yeah, they do. And I think like they have like a thing. Are they under NATO? Like pretty much like we got to back them up. Yeah, we have much. to exactly. 100%. So it's like I don't know. Shit's, shit's probably gonna start getting wild here shortly. So that's what I'm saying. So that's a scary. Part. Brace yourself. That's why I think it's a little serious because like they also said. Um, so anybody who was working in chip manufacturers in China quit their job that day. I don't. I think it was like last week when this yeah. was all going down. And during COVID, that's when everything was going slow. Because we couldn't get car chips from China, we couldn't get yeah, that's one. chips All from phones from China. Get expensive, exactly. And so they quit their job that day. You know who the number one chip manufacturer country is in the world? Taiwan. Taiwan. Now, so now China's even going to go even harder, and then now USA is going to. So I think she's going to get real. But they've been saying she's going to get real for, like Javi said, like years. Everybody, people are like we're going to go to a session. It just really scares me because like everybody, like, I feel like a lot of people that you know listen to the pod. Like I mean, I was like born. You know, into Christianity, like so. I I know the Bible pretty well, and the thing that does scare me is like, and I know people usually say that you know history repeats itself and everything, and maybe that's what you know it comes from. But like, I just think it's crazy how like there's shit that's going on, and it's like almost like happening from what the Bible said. Yeah, because the Bible. So like the Bible says like like during like these end times kind of a thing like. You know, weather's going to be bad. Like, it, it pretty much says, like, you know, like, fish are going to be dead in the sea. Like, uh, water's going to be, like, a like a resource that's not going to be as pure as, as, as it is. Right. And then it says, like, you know, everybody's going to be under one system. Like, there's going to be one coin. There's going to be one person that rules everything. Yeah. So, it's like, it, it, it does, like, when I see shit like this, it kind of does scare me. Because crazy thing, in Alaska, um, just recently, I don't know if anyone knows this, but um, all the lobsters gone missing. Like it's usually a good time to get lobster right now, and it's yeah. like they can't I, I find. Is it like a crab, not lobster? Or I look it up. It's one of the two. But tell, it's me, like, tell me, go to Magic City. They'll find all the crab there. Huh, they'll find all the crab. They head down to what's it? Candies in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> That's where all the crabs are at. <laughs> and other candies. So look, look at this. Yeah, it's crabs. Look, it says one billion crabs go missing, bro. One they just, billion. They just run away, or something? I mean, go missing. Like they just. I don't fucking know how they know they're there in the first place. I don't. How do you know the amount? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Too. They got trackers on them or something. I don't know. I mean, I mean, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they know, like you know, in a certain amount that they get every year. Maybe they were a billion short or something. Yeah. I don't so know. it's weird. I don't know. Like, so when I see things like this, it start like, yeah, it does like strike a little bit fear in me. But then it's like, I don't know. <clears throat> you know, it's like it's crazy. It's just crazy. I, I just in the Bible, I think isn't this supposed to be the time of fire or something like that? No, that's a, that's a Game of Thrones. <laughs> Shut the fuck up time no, cause, fire. I don't know I've never heard but, of that No it's supposed to be like uh, Some religious person told me I don't know It was like I would say like Noah's Ark was like the water You know Yeah And this time it's supposed to, Everything's supposed to be burning apparently hmm. I haven't heard of that But yeah maybe I mean it makes sense A, scri- like, hey, a scripture does. day keeps the sin away Have you been using your scriptures a day? No See Because that's the other thing too Is like you have a lot of people out here That say they read the Bible and everything But what good is it to, Like to me like for instance Like I know a lot about the Bible But I don't I don't even fucking Put the shit to play So what good is it to me You know what I'm saying You ever heard of the telephone game Yeah I yeah, know you've said that But the thing is like Most of the messages Is pretty like Look at look at the telephone game But everybody's religion Loki kind of has like The same basis 
But then there's also humans. Human beings are sick people, so they'll take I mean, advantage of it. There's like there's like 300 gods. But people only believe in most religions only believe in one. Yeah, I know, but, but then, that god. But then you're, most but then, of the gods is the same thing. But then other religions are like, oh, they, they just got different <laughs> names. Uh oh. Yeah, let's pause it real quick. Yeah, boogies. Hey, that's a pretty cute uh, pajamas you got there. Did you get rid of those? I did. If Ozzy bought you those pajamas, Kiana. I did. You like them? <laughs> I buy you what? Yeah, the Pikachu. Oh, I buy you Pikachu. Where's Pikachu? It's in the room. It's in the room. Yeah, I was there. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good party? Were you party hardy? You're talking oh. to the mic. The microphone, look. You gotta talk into here so they can hear you. Did you just wake up, Kiana? Yeah. Yes. How was your weekend? Uh-huh. <laughs> How was your weekend, Kiana? That was party? last weekend. Did you get lit? <laughs> Did you have some uh, Capri Suns and party? Party hardy? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, since Kiana is here, I actually want to bring something up. Um, this week, um, so she got some money for her birthday, right? Yeah. And uh, we took her to Target so she can go buy gifts. And she was buying toys and everything. And then I was actually taking advantage of, you know how they have the circle, Target circle thing? She wanted to, oh. <laughs> Just cut Monica's mic. I think it's that one. Huh? Talking to it, Monica? Hello, hello. I see you talk again. I couldn't hear when she was talking just now. Yeah, I don't think. I think we're good. Um, but so uh, the Target Circle has like uh, coupons or whatever. And it was like if you sp- spend a certain amount of money, then then um, you get like a $5 gift card, right? Mm-hmm. And so we did that, get the gift card. And then P's mom had told us that she wanted us to get her coffee, like just like grounded coffee. So we bought a coffee and it was like $6, like the total with taxes and everything. So Paulina was like, I'll just take one of, like, she said it out loud to me, like, Kiana's, like, in the cart right here, and she's like, I'll just use one of Kiana's dollars, you know, I'm not trying to use my card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, next day or whatever, uh, Kiana's, like, sitting on the, in the kitchen table with uh, my P's mom, and she's like, look, she's like, we bought you coffee yesterday, and she's like, but you have two of them. And she's like, oh, yeah, but it's almost going to run out. That's why I had Paulina, buy, your mom, buy me one yesterday. She's like, yeah. She's like, but you do know that they bought it with my money. <laughs> like, I bought you. Yeah, she said it to her. Oh, but she's like, I bought you that coffee. Oh, shit. What did your mom say? Oh, her mom's just like, Loki kind of like, she's Wait. like, what do you mean? Paulina's mom. Paulina's mom? Okay. Yeah. Now, she's been on one, G. Like, and I, t- I think I said that last week on the podcast. Like, you know, my aunt's been out here, and now she wants all her grandmas to speak English to her only. Oh really? Yeah, because she thinks my aunt is her grandma. She, mm. she calls her her more grandma. She's like my mas grandma. Mm. Kylie's like when Kiana's getting all like the Spider Man clothes and like she got like a Yoda sweater and stuff like that. Yeah, she's like our kid is never gonna wear that stuff. <laughs> I'm like why? She's like our kid is only gonna wear like like not like grown up clothes, but like I hate that. Not like grown up clothes, but like. You know, like, we were in the kid section looking for her, and they had, like, look little, like, graphic tees that said, like, Led Zeppelin, like, Nirvana, like. Yeah. So, like, she's like, our kids are going to wear, like, cute. Not saying, like, cute. I'm trying to think. Of, like, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to find. Like, because it does look cute when a kid looks, like, dressed like an adult. Yeah, like, yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I, yeah, I'm cute. I'm like, yo, if my kid wants some fucking light-up shoes. Yeah. I'm going to buy him some fucking light-up shoes. Exactly. Because she's her friend. She's a friend yeah. um, who has two boys. And they they don't they dress like really nice. They don't dress like any like superhero shit, like no cartoon shit. And I mean, they made a good point, but, but not a good point. I, she, what was her, her point? Her point know. was, if they don't know about it, they won't be upset about it. Like if they don't, if like they're not gonna be walking through like. I'm like, I, if, if, if they, they don't know about what like what like the light up shoes, yeah. But that's fucked up because the way this is how I I see it, like. Kiana doesn't like. I mean, shout out to Gus. You know, we got the Yeezys. Actually, shout out to everybody that pulled up and gave like gifts. You know, like I don't want everyone to think that I singled anyone out. We got a lot of clothing. She got a lot of toys. You know, thank thank you everybody. But um, 
like she has a easy slice. But the thing is, like, like for instance, like us, like we would clown somebody, like if they don't have like, uh, like brand shoes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like Kiana doesn't give two shits if it's uh, a Nike or and, a Vans. And, and Kiana, she mind, just wants those like light up fucking Spider Man shoes. Her Pikachu shoes are just as cool. Probably cooler than those Yeezy slides. Exactly, and right. I don't want to rob that from her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, that's why I told Kyle, like, yo, like I don't want to, because we grew up in a world where it's like we no longer like things because of the way they look. We like them because of the brand they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, who am I? Light up shoes were some of the coolest things I remember when I was a little kid. It's like Loki robbing them from their childhood. Yeah, why and I'm that? giving her that. I didn't. We've talked to her multiple times. I didn't have Pikachu. Like seeing her like singing the Pokemon theme song. Like I'm Loki, kind of like reliving a childhood through her. Like I right. can see what I was missing out on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. And I mean, everybody is to their own how they're going to raise their kids. You know, I don't think there's a right or wrong way. No, but my kid is. I just feel like you're kind of like robbing a a, a childhood from it because you know what? Because now if I wore light up shoes as a grown ass man, I'm going to look like a weirdo. I'm a grown ass man, and I wear superhero shirts. That's tight though. But that's who you are too. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what I'm saying. So like, why? You, why can't, why can't my my child wear it? And I'm not gonna lie, do I influence a little bit on Kiana, like the Spider Man thing, yeah, the Yoda thing, yeah. But like she kind of low key like likes it too, you know. But I let her do. She likes princess shit too, you know. She likes uh Anna and fucking Moana. Who's Anna? Uh, from Frozen. Oh, uh, I thought she's a bitch of no one cares. Kiana, about. who's your favorite uh Disney princess? Talk in the mic. Say it on the mic. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Mona. Mona? Mona? Oh, she calls her Mona. Mona's good. She's a good one. But see, she doesn't see color G like to her. She, she doesn't care if they're <laughs> Polynesian people or, or she just. Huh? She wants to go to the boat. The boats? They oh, float. oh yeah. What is that song they sing in Moana? It's a good song. Um, I know what you're talking about. Sing it, Monica. I know the melody, but I just can't. Kiana, sing the. What, what about the Pokemon song? How does song? How does the song go? I wanna. How does the song go? I don't even know the song. I wanna be the very best. Do do do. No one ever Do you know the Pokemon song? Mm-mm. Pokemon. One of the best songs. I I have that in my gym playlist when I work out. <laughs> when you're trying to get like a good chest day in. Yeah. You want to be the very best. So. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, I let her do whatever she wants, you know. I mean, she plays with Mona and Elsa. Like, they coexist, you know, black and white women, you know. <laughs> Mo- Moana's not black. I mean, can you give, dark brown, can you, my bad Can brown. you give Polynesian people their credit, please? Shout out to all the Polynesian people out there that listen to us. Pacific um, Islanders, maybe. Pacific Islanders. Um, I love you guys. Great Thank you. people. Thank you. Very united. I feel like we, I relate a lot of, in a lot of ways. I remember Hobby was like, we were in, was it high school or something like that? No, a little bit after high school. I was like, let's go to Mo Betas, man. I got fire food. You're like, no, man. I hate, you're like, I just, I just don't like Hawaiian food. Like, I just, this is not my thing. And then you tried it. You tried like the teriyaki chicken, and you're like, that's just gas. And I'm like, I don't know what you were taking so long to fucking try. I don't know what you thought yeah, it was no. gonna be. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, th- I thought it was gonna be some like, I don't know. <laughs> it was fire though. I really didn't know what I, I was like, gonna I, expect. Po- uh, like island po- Polynesian or like Hawaiian, like, not Polynesian, but like Hawaiian barbecue chicken or teriyaki chicken. So fucking good, so good. With the mac salad. I don't like the mac salad. I don't know who makes a better mac salad, black people or Polynesian people. Probably black people. I don't know, man. Polynesian mac salad is pretty good. Where, where, what have I probably had mac salad that's black? You think? Like what restaurants? I think yeah, you I don't know. You, know where I've ate, but you what have restaurants? To, I think I don't know. if You'd have to go to like a cookout or something or someone's house. Yo, I want to stop real quick and say <laughs> something. No, I just thought about something. It just came to me. Remember how you said you didn't want to go eat at that place that we went to? Um, what fuck, place? what is it called? That brew? Oh, Bohemian Brewery. Like Paulina had talked about it, he, it was me, you, and Lee, and you looked up their menu, and you're like, I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Was it fire? It is fucking fire. Let's pull up. Look, if, uh, oh, she's already looking it up. Yeah. See, this is what this, yeah. I know. We've had other people come in here and, <laughs> and, and, and fill in for Monica, but let's give a round of applause. Give for her a round. Yeah. You know, 
She's a real MVP. Yeah, that, those are big, big feet to fit. She. Javi, Javi looked at his, uh, opened his eyes, looked at the screen, and was fucking passed out. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monica was reading was my like, mind for a second. He was like that one kid that was a fucking blurry. Me. Yeah, he was like getting the, I the had those. On that. I had two of those moments right now. I started talking about food. I was like, wait, hold on one second. I might have to pull up. I might have pink eye, but I could still see in a way. Ten dollars from some onion rings, though. God damn. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. That's they're, pricey for their French fucking- toast. I'm not someone that consumes French toast, but I tried their French toast, and I'm telling you, instantly bricked. Oh, freaking a freaking a food. Uh, speaking of food, Snowmobile Pizza. I'm gonna go there today. Snowmobile Pizza. It's a new pizza shop in uh, in Utah. And um, careful, look up that place, Monica. Snowmobile. Guess who was eating? Guess who was eating there uh, during the week? Sexton. Last week? No, even cooler than Sexton because Sexton lives in Utah. NBA player. No, so this is it right here. Fusi too? No, bro. <laughs> Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone. I'm like trying to do the face like yeah. I got glasses. Wait, where is this at? This is downtown. It's a new pizza spot. It's supposed to be like a 90s like uh, New York style pizza. Where is it at? Downtown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to remind both of y'all. I cannot see well, shit. Well, she said, where is it at? I said downtown. Oh, the, the, the oh, next. My bad. The next my question bad. he fucking says. My bad. Where's it at? Here. <laughs> turn your mics. Turn, turn my headphones. Turn, turn, turn it up, Turbo. Turn it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go here today. Is that the name of a pizza? I need a hero. I need a hero. That's a um, Sylvester Stallone. That motherfucker cracks me up. I need a hero. Maria. Oh, that's a that's a Shrek. I'll Shrek. What movie is it? Hey Shaq, tell me a joke. Where's that coming from? Right behind you. It's like literally right behind oh, you. Oh, it's Alexa. But you called her Shaq? It's Shaq. Oh. I've seen a lot of... Dude, TikTok's blowing up with these drafts things. And we should do another draft. People do like uh, people that... People no are one, copying us? Yeah, people that no one hates. I mean, I, I think I got it from somebody on TikTok. But we can do like a chip draft. People that no one hates. You the guys best. tell us what kind of drafts you guys the, want. To we see can do next. the best like people. We can do the um, the best fictional cats. We can do the best fictional dog characters. We mm. can do. Um, Is there a lot of fictional dogs? Yeah. Why don't we just do best fictional characters draft? That's too much. What if we did best? Because Disney. then we could. Oh, I mean, Disney then we can like. Lot. Then we can like space them out. You know. What if we just did a roster of like. A Marvel, oh, but Monica look at that pizza. Wow. Looks gas. I'm about to stop by it. Are they open on Sundays? I had pizza yesterday uh, from a place. It started with the V. It's like V something. What's your favorite pizza? Um, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Oh, like and a, then pizza like place. Pizza? I am a big, and this is only because this is a pizza my dad orders. But I I like ham and mushroom. Oh God, I really do like ham and mushroom. I think living at this house, do you like mushroom of, by yourself, like sautéed mushrooms, like by itself? Yeah, I like I like when I get like a country fried steak on my gravy. I ask for mushrooms. Really? Yeah. Um, I like, I do like barbecue chicken pizza. Fire. Um, there's another pizza that I was introduced to recently too. Well, let's, ask, let's ask Kiana what her favorite pizza is. Kiana, oh, Kiana loves pizza. What's your favorite pizza? You like pizza? Cheese ones, that's a that's my, one of my favorites too. We had pizza yesterday, huh? Yeah, I remember. That's like her favorite word. Remember, um, like anything, anytime she wants to listen to. Remember that one song? Remember? I like um, my favorite used to be like barbecue chicken pizza. Yeah, probably, or like Supreme when I used to eat like meat and shit. Supreme pizza was fire with the peppers and all the random meat. Before I met Kylie, that was my favorite pizza. But when she, I met her, bro, she introduced me into margarita pizza. I had that yesterday. No, no, no. I had vodka pizza. I, I, kind of similar. Oh, they are. Oh, but I liked well, margarita. I liked it. Is that shit like, was fire. Margarita is like a really traditional pizza. It's like, it's like um, just marinara. And it's got the 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 plops of like mozzarella. Yeah. And then um, just like olive oil drizzled around the crust and like on the pizza yeah. and with like. Uh, Parsley or cilantro? I don't, it's not cilantro. So Can you look up vodka pizza, please? Have you vodka? Vodka. Vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a sauce. 
Type it in. Though. Oh, it's not a type. I thought it was because that's what no, they called it. Type in margarita pizza. Because it had like ham on it. It had mushrooms. It had green peas in it. Oh, God. No, it sounds gross, but like, bro, like it was fire. Go to images. I'm trying to find the pizza place started with the V. It was like V E E. That's margarita. Huh? Is it the one I told you? Which one? What's it called? Let's see. Google it. I've seen I've seen margarita. I think I've I haven't had it, but I've seen it. It's fire. I think they had some yesterday, and I didn't get any. What's your favorite pizza spot? Oh, uh, but see, wait, Monica. What's your favorite pizza, Monica? Um, what's your go-to? Well, my go-to is Little Caesars for sure. So, you know, what about style of pizza? Um. I like thick crust. I like them thick. But what about like toppings and stuff? Oh, toppings. I. <laughs> you like Little Caesars? We should have Little Caesars for work one day. Shit's cheap. Bro, yeah. people hate on Little Caesars, but that's like that's like hate on my McDonald's. It's like five dollars for a large pizza. Now look, look at I understand like West Valley like type because there's some Little Caesar places that actually they've been pretty good out there too. But there's certain places where the Little Caesars looks like shit. Like the Little Caesars out here, that pizza be coming out busting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Monica, what did you say your favorite toppings was? Um, so I get pepperoni. Um, I do green and red bell peppers, olives. Oh. And, um, onions. That's it. One um, thing I don't understand is people that have anchovies on their pizza. Anchovies? Yeah, anchovies. Mm. It's a it's an acquired taste. Have you had that? You like? Yeah. That? No, I know. I'm not a fan. That's I'm, not this one though, Monica. Is Try, this in, is this in Utah? Yeah, it's in Southtown. That's why I don't want to like it name a fire. place because I I want to actually I've try Austin, pizzas. It's so fire. My favorite pizza pot is the, the pie still. I had it the other day at work. Uh, I had it the other day at work, and it still hits. I don't know. Or I, uh, wait, or Slackwater. I have not had their pizza. See, that's the thing is like I haven't really been to a lot of pizza places. I don't and know. It's like why pay like thirty dollars for a pizza when you can have fucking little pizzas? Little pizzas, <laughs> yes. Low key. Whenever I order pizza, though. Light marinara sauce though. I don't like a lot of marinara, bro. There's stuff. that's slack water, bro. Look at that, that pizza. That's the uh the California one, bro. It's got avocados on it, spinach, it. bro. It's so fucking gas, and they got great wings. Joey here liked it. Um, look up a pizza place. It starts with V E E. It says it's. I think it's V E. Yeah, the California Sunrise. That's what yeah. we just had yesterday. But, oh, Vibo or does it click that? Click clap. With the click, just click that top one. Back, back. What does that say? Oh, it's a sauce. Fuck yeah, never mind. Is that what you said? I don't know, but it was it was pretty fire. That pizza was fire. It had like, I don't know. Um, it's it was on Banger. But I think it was in Harriman. Harriman Pizza. Look up Harriman Pizza places. My favorite pizza joint though, as as like the chain ones, definitely uh, better ingredients, better pizza. Papa Yans. Papa John's is, oh, yeah. Is yeah. I do like Papa John's. And the garlic knots. If you ever get Papa John's again, get garlic knots, bro. You fucking turn you up. What's your least favorite pizza place? Where you're just like, mm, their they're pizza's ass. Oh, my God. The ones I used to get in high school, fucking $5 pizza. It was cardboard. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? At, like, the high school lunchroom? Yeah. Oh, well, that's... Our pizza was fire. Well, that's lunchroom pizza. What do you expect? Yo, bro, I found a website. you probably seen it on TikTok where, like, they sell, like... Uh, school food. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I sent Dude, they, are you the one that said, bro? They have break breakfast pizza was fired. Yeah, so good with the little sausage, little balls yes, on top. bro. I I might buy some low key. It's like, but the it's like a thirty two was- count for like fifty bucks. That's a gas. Or they have the cheese breads too. The cheese breads are good too. Cheese breads were good. You know what? I didn't have. Were you, was it you that said you guys would get like spicy chicken sandwiches or something like that? Yeah. I never had that. Did never you ever had that? No, no, no. Yo, Loki one school. I don't know. I think um, when I got sent to one of my foster homes, I was going to one of the schools there. Bro, they had they had some of the best school lunches, bro. I don't know what they were doing over there. I don't know what school I was going to, but the school lunches there were like so fucking good, bro. I don't, I don't get it. Some of the school lunches. That's why I be trying to tell my mom. My mom wants to retire from Harmon soon. I'm like, yo, you should be a lunch lady, like. You work quick hours. You work half the year. True. You, yeah, get, a, you get paid d- decently. Like, you get insurance too. Yeah, you get good insurance. Like, And you're dealing with like little kids and like get to put a smile on their face. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. One, my lunch lady used to be my plug. Plug to what? Only one kind of plug, G. 
No, she did not. Swear. I'm not going to say her name out there, but she was like family members with some other kids that I would hang out with. I feel that. So she was she was a plug, but only to that kid. So she wasn't your plug. Yeah, technically, I guess she wasn't. He's trying to gas gas himself up. Hey, but yeah. she hooked uh, it up. When I was in the elementary school, I had a plug. Yeah, my little lady used to. She used to slide suck my cup. She used to slide an extra chocolate milk under the fucking. Uh, I never really had lunch in high school. Oh, me neither. Same. I didn't qualify for a free lunch. Though. Me neither. I don't know why. My mom was poor as fuck. I was single family, single mom. Like I used to hook Fossey up. I remember I used to pay for your lunch sometimes. You did? Yeah. When? In high school? Yeah. We were just broke back then, bro. Oh, I know. Hey, but I'm up now. But the one thing that would bother me, it was I would always hook you and, and Ahmed. I would hook anyone I could. But the thing I didn't like was when someone would assume that I was going to do it. Oh, yeah. So yeah. then I wouldn't hook him up. What do you mean hook him up? Like pay for their lunch? Like pay for their food. Hook up. <laughs> it was just pay for their lunch. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Hooking, just get, I remember, but you put me on. Talk, that's what, that's the first time I had Taco Bell was with Fosse. And you put me on Taco Bell. Oh, and then that's the first when time I started, you had Taco Bell? Yeah. Oh, damn. I didn't know that. And then, um, I had Taco Bell yesterday. And then. That's when I started seeing the whole Fosse with the sauce thing. This motherfucker would get a burrito, s- spray one whole packet of sauce, bite it. Open another pack. Is that not what normal Spray the do? whole sauce. No, each bite of sauce. Wait, sauce of what? Just hot sauce. Damn. Oh, is it snowing? Yeah, I would just do one whole packet on a bite. So I went to talk about yesterday, and I got the cheesy, the new cheesy burrito. Don't get that shit. It's kind of, it's kind of ass. I've uh, had it. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right, bro. This is not good. The crunch wraps are peems undefeated. I've never had one of those, bro. You haven't? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What do you, or or you get you get the, the cheesy gordita crunch? Those are gas too. Mm-hmm. Or the chulup. Taco Bell is just gas. I like Dude, I like Del Taco the, better. The uh, naked chicken chalupa from Taco Bell. It was like a chalupa shell, but it was chicken. Oh, I remember that shit. I never had it. So fire. That sounds like some KFC shit. Like they be doing weird shit like that. Like KFC be doing like a uh, fucking uh, donut sandwiches with chicken in the middle and shit like that. Just oh, like that's gross. That's, that's disgusting. Di- just diabetic. <laughs> just diabetes. You gotta hook up for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we we'll get you your supplies. <laughs> <laughs> it might take a while, but we'll get them. You'll get them eventually. Nah, but yeah, you gotta get extra. I Kylie's always awkward. I'm like, I like Del Taco over Taco Bell. Really? I've been on that Del Taco grind. I, mean, I told Kylie, I'm like, never had it. okay, Del you Taco. You never had Del Taco? Del Taco's fire. Del Taco got some of the best hot sauce, though. Their medium hot sauce. Yeah. It comes like a little large. It's kind of fatter, right? Yeah. Well, when I, Monica, he said I like sauces. I went to Del Taco and I bought a bottle of it from their fucking drive-thru. And I He'll said, buy bottles of, like, I know he, you were the first one I seen that you bought a bottle of, like, uh, Buffalo Wild, Asian Z. Oh, yeah. You have an Asian Zing sauce? Yes. Yes. I went to Charlie Winko, got a bottle of sauce they had there. The I think you even had a J Dog sauce, huh? No, I don't think you bought the that. Sauce? I went to a R and R and I got two of their bottles of sauce. Yeah, Fossey likes sauce. It just makes everything better. Fasta sauce. That's why Fasta sauce got. That's why I'm a little chunky because I eat healthy, but then I just like one Chick Fil one Chick Fil A packet is like 150 calories. It is, especially the Chick Fil A sauce. That's, that's the best sh- one. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, it is. It's, it's like 160 calories for 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 two like three scoops of that bitch. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I remember when like I didn't know how much calories was. I was eating at least four of them. At, at least packs. Four packs. I'd have a I'd have a, a twelve piece nugget and. I might need to bust open a fifth one if I have fries. See, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> so eating a pack per two nuggets. I'd be getting two packs of sauce, and I only use one sauce in all the nuggets. True. Motherfuckers are dippers. I'm a scooper. Kiana likes ranch, though. <laughs> Kiana will eat you ranch by get itself. In there. You got to get your wrist down. See, people be doing this. I'd be like getting that wrist action, and then you got to hit like one of those. The, yeah. The no, yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. I or like, like or we went to, uh, it's that, and you like to finesse, too, at restaurants. I think that shit always cracks me up. Oh, I do it to you know who's like that too? Oh, but he used to do it a lot. Ricky used to piss me off sometimes because you take this motherfucker to a restaurant and nobody will. It's one of those things where people like say I won't like. Oh, you know, yeah. Sam not down. He's like, say I won't complain. I get my food for free. <laughs> and he, he's chilled out on it, but he used to do it a lot. He's like, he'll. F- and it crazy thing is like it's always his plate with something would always go wrong. Like small thing. Like maybe there was like a hair in one of his like parts of his food or something. Yeah. And he's like, guarantee I'll get my food for free. 
I started thinking, I was like, this motherfucker probably carrying little hairs and just like throwing them in his food or something. <laughs> in high school, I used to do it with Taco Bell, bro. Taco Bell, you would go to them and be like, I didn't like, you would eat 75% oh of the burrito. Oh my God, I do remember that. You eat like 75% of the burrito, you take it back, I'm like, I didn't like this. It was cold on the inside. And they give you a whole new one. But, but like this dude would this dude no you don't pay like, for the new one this dude been like half through one though they literally have a sign that says if you don't like it or I don't think they had this sign anymore but I took advantage of it in high school it said if you don't like the food we'll give you another one damn and you so, finessed me because I generally thought that your food wouldn't come out good because I remember we'd sit there and wait yeah no Boss would be like more. two bites in his burrito and he's like well what you always do is Kylie does this she doesn't do this now but she always tells me to do something like this now too because like it works and she's like why are you the way you are like <laughs> can't like raising canes. They charge you like 75 cents for a sauce. Or like if you don't want cold slaw, you can get another sauce. And I'm like, why would I do that? So I order my food. And then when they get you, when they get you, when they get you the food, I'm just like, hey, can I get extra cane sauce? Yeah. And then they just give it to you. So like, why would I pay for it? Sure. Or they'll be like, we usually charge 75 cents for this. But this time, this one time, I'll, I'll give it to you. And I go back there every Sunday and I do the same shit. And I'm like, so you know, just pay for your shit. And then if you know it's extra... Ask for it later. Just ask for it later. Sometimes they'll be like, oh, we got to charge you for that. I'm like, I don't want it then. I walk away. I just hate it when people are like, when you knowingly know it's going to be extra and they're being assholes about it. Like, the one the one place, bro, I don't get it, is McDonald's, bro. How, how I'm going to order $10 worth of food. I got a spicy chicken sandwich. I didn't want mayo. I say no mayo. I can't get two barbecues. So I can't, you get one for free. I can't get one to replace the mayo. But I know but McDonald's be doing a whole bunch of shit. You can add extra in your shit. I'm going to just say, hey, can I get no mayo? Add barbecue sauce. I might just do that now. But they're going to charge you, though. I don't know why, bro. I You go to Chick-fil-A. I can get a drink and say, can I get 35 fucking Chick-fil-A sauces? Yeah, but then the, also the thing is that the cost of a Chick-fil-A sandwich versus a McDonald's sandwich. No, I just said, I just said, let me get a drink. I just said, I'll walk up and let me get a large Coke and say... I know, but I'm just saying, like, there's other people buying these but sandwiches, But with, with every Chick-fil-A, though, there's three McDonald's. Yeah. Okay, so they're making but the other revenue. But the thing is also is, like, I don't know if, like, is our Chick-fil-A franchised? Yeah, they are. Oh. I'm just saying, with every Chick-fil-A restaurant, there's three McDonald's, to, probably four, to that Chick-fil-A. And maybe it's because they don't do that. <laughs> They're just handing out no, sauces, but maybe. It, it's, but then Chick Fil A is like a better quality than McDonald's. Exactly. Sure. True, but you still can get though. you can get McDonald's chicken sandwich that they release. They get it in a fucking bag, like they try to copy Chick Fil A. That shit's ass. It is. It's so, so gross. gross. And Actually, it's, like, it's chewy as shit. Like I'm like, and it's like when you bite it, it's like stringy. Like the yeah, it's weird. Comes out, and it costs just as much of a Chick Fil A sandwich. And I still gotta pay for a fucking barbecue sauce. I don't know. I had one of their check and sandwich. Check. Yeah, they're like, oh, you can get one for free. The extra two, you got to charge. And I say, oh, because you scoop, you don't fucking dip. That's why. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, that's fuck. Motherf- I'm telling you, that I literally, like, sir, we can only give you one, not ten. Sir, you got. Have you? It's like those. Uh, <laughs> it's like those TikToks. Have you seen TikToks when there's like, all you see is the the POV, Monica. You see the POV of the person, and they're dipping it in ranch, and they're like, and they show the person, and then they have the ranch. Next to them, and there's ranch all over their face, face. and there's like, I'm gonna need you to put the ranch down. <laughs> That's hobby. Have you seen those? What do you mean? Oh, I mean, yeah, I right. haven't seen that. What do you mean with ranch? I mean, I am someone go that to, gets like hella food on them. One where it's like this girl's trying to give the friend like some ranch, and then she like gets, and then like the camera goes back to the girl and goes back, then she's like shaking. Like, I'm gonna need you to put it down. <laughs> Go to TikTok. Just look those bitches. Are you up. saying because I? Because you like ranch, that's why. And ranch is disgusting. I think ranch is a little I don't overrated. Eat that much ranch, though. I think ranch is overrated. Kiana hella likes ranch. Put, just haven't put the ranch down. I thought you were coming at me because I always seem to like get food on myself when I eat. That's my girlfriend, bro. Like, there's not one oh, time that we'll go have pho and my fucking shirt's full of fucking like this shit. Like this shit right here. Broth like, on I'm my. I'm gonna sh- put the ranch. <laughs> Oh hell! And she's like, um, you need to go ahead and put the ranch down. Can you save that but, so then I can show it to the people? But that one's that one's a little extra. There's other like, just I like it. Like bookmark it or something. Just like it right there, th- left. Just like it. So you can get, go back. Go to like, uh, just go to that top. Oh, go to oh, what you could do, Monica is. Oh, bro, see, like that makes me feel so uncomfortable. Go, oh, go to the the wing stop one, to the right. Yeah, go to that one. No, this isn't it. 
Go ahead and put the ranch away. No, that's not it. You can filter it to most lights. Go to the top. You remember? Yeah, I'm on the top. Yeah, I don't know. There should be a filter, but it's it's whatever. But yeah, it's just shit like that. Like, just people clowning people because they eat sauce. Like, that's totally me, though. But this motherfucker really dumped ranch all over their body just for... It's on the table. Hey, shh. It's time to put the ranch away. <laughs> it's time to put the ranch away. He's like, it's time to put the ranch away. Like shit like that, bro. It's time to put the ranch away. That shit cracks me up, bro. The one that would always bug me is that the ones where like the dudes have their hands like messy and they'll like dab each other up and they're oh, just like, yeah. oh, bro, that makes me feel oh so uncomfortable. God. I'm gonna need you to put the ranch away. That's, is that ranch? Yeah. It's like glue. Oh hell no! Oh, and they dab each other up, and they like, and they like suck on each other. Oh shit. yeah, I hate that, bro. That shit makes me cringe. Cringe. But yeah, those videos, those videos are fucking crack me up, bro. Oh, I think it's this one. No, that's that's only got forty likes. Go ahead and put the ranch away. Oh my god! Ew. That dude's working too. <laughs> that's who. That's who's <laughs> making your wings at Wingstop. True, <laughs> fucking dirty ass hands. <laughs> She's dumping a whole <laughs> bottle on her face, bro. Oh, oh his beard and everything. Ew. Correct. Motherfuckers did that for 200 likes. Yeah. No. What a clown. Barely. He, well. thought he, <coughs> he thought he was the main character. Yo. Uh, I can't share that, actually. What? Just uh, some shit that... Keeve Ke- 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 be sending me some shit, bro. I think it's time for the ranch down. Keeve be sending me shit? Like what? Yeah, like... So... I mean, I understand... I understand sometimes you should, like, you know. Okay, so he lives in California with his cousin, right? Yeah. His cousin's girlfriend, Loki, is like a very aggressive woman. Okay. And I guess Keith went into the house, and I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it was like something wasn't done right, but homeboy dropped the word bitch. Like, dude, like this bitch something. Mm-hmm. Homegirl, like, went off on his ass. Like, bro, like. Put hands on him? Yes. Like, I saw a video, and like, she, like, literally socks his ass. And he told me he wanted me to talk about it, but it's like, I don't really want to talk too much about it just because it's like, you know, like, yeah. I don't want homegirl to come over here and whoop my ass. On the pod, do you think she listens? She's probably hearing right now before it even goes live. She's probably, that she probably wants to drop the pants. Wait, the who? pants? Someone dropped pants upstairs, I heard, or something. Oh, uh, it's something. Fuck. Oh, no, it's probably Sky in her bowls. She probably, oh, uh, it's probably that. Probably feed me, chief. I want to get a dog when I move out, but my girlfriend told me I can't because we got to do an Airbnb. And then if you have an Airbnb and you have an aggressive dog, like a quote unquote pit bull, aggressive breed, you have to list it. She's like, no one's going to want to stay with us if we have a dog, especially an aggressive breed one. I'm like, doesn't matter. What the fuck? Look, man, I'm going to tell you this. Kylie. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Cut that shit out, man. <laughs> Kylie needs to chill out, man. I feel like Kylie's too serious. I think she needs to like. She's just gotta relax, bro. She's gonna relax, yeah. She's just gotta like honestly just let loose a little bit. Just bust a nut and just chill out. <laughs> Girl, you about to be fucking just shit. You out here at you're tightening up and you ain't even 30 yet. You're not even close to it. Oh. True. Well, we gotta love her though. I, I mean I love her all my She's heart, great people. She's, she's good people, but she's yeah. she needs to stop hanging out with white people. Uptight white people. <laughs> well, hit my line. Yeah, tell her to start hanging out with Mo- Monica actually does. She like was like, Yeah, if our things. daughter She's like, what happens if she's like, I don't know, we were talking last night and she was like, if our daughter were like, what, how, how did I say this? I was like, oh, like, she's like, oh, how would you be feel? Is like, it still you- recording, Monica? <laughs> Is mine still recording? Am I? Because someone tried to FaceTime me. But it would just be like, oh, how would you feel if you had a daughter and then you had a baby again and there was another daughter and you had another daughter and you had three daughters. And I was like, oh, that like, I'd be chill. I mean, I would try to, I don't want to have a boy, but like. I mean, chill. As long as they're like strong, independent women, they grow up and they're not like hoes or thoughts or like selling their pussy online. And she's like, I can't believe you just said that. Like, what? Like, who cares? I'm like, what do you mean, who cares? Like, I can't be upset. My daughter already got an OnlyFans account, selling her pussy online, getting fucked on online. She's like, yeah, I would just say, do you, girl? Like, not her fucking dad. Yeah. I'm I'm not saying do you girl. Yeah. I'm sending you to boarding school. You're joining the military. Well, chill out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, it, it's again like I don't think there's anything wrong with girls that are doing all that stuff. You know, um, fuck, I'll fucking watch your pussy on OnlyFans. <laughs> Wait, you know, <laughs> it's it's cool. You know, I'm not paying for anyone's account, but like, no, it's okay. if it was, <laughs> you, um, but I don't condone it. You know what I'm saying? Like, do whatever. To me, it's this: anyone can do whatever the fuck they want to do. It doesn't affect me. Now. This is where it's different, you know. Get your grind, get your money. Now, do I would I want to be in a relationship with someone that has like an OnlyFans or anything like that? It's most likely going to be no, just because well, so I Keanu, kind of want I, the way I view it is like if I want it to be for me. And I know it sounds very possessive and everything, but it's just just how I like things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you go even look at my Instagram. I'm not someone that even posts a lot on my Instagram. Like, you know, I'm not someone that's. Too open to that, but, but like Kiana grows up and she gets OnlyFans. What do you, you? What are you gonna say? What do you say? So this is my thing with that. Like I would like raise Kiana in a way where I feel like you know, like I feel like you should value yourself enough to not want to do something like that, or I don't know exactly the correct terms for it, but I would try to raise her in a way where I, I would let her know, like you know, you don't have to do that, or like I know, but you, I don't you, like you, it. But you, if she ends up doing yeah. something like that, like at the end of the day, like. That's her life, I guess, you know? And I even put it like this way to Kylie. I'm like, the OnlyFans is one thing, but like when you're a, a thought, like you're hanging around a lot of like men, like a lot of da- like not dangerous people, but like you're putting yourself in a lot of scary situations, like with the trafficking, sex trafficking and stuff like that. Like you're putting yourself in those situations. So like that's my biggest concern. Like the OnlyFans and stuff is like another thing. Here, here's a debate online I saw. Hold oh. on. Let me go back to okay, it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So this is what, what the way I see it. Like, I wouldn't have a problem with whatever decision Kiana wants to do, but only if it truly comes from within her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want her to do something because it's something that the world told her to do. Like, I know, there's a lot of girls out here now that are, like, on OnlyFans and everything, but they're doing it because it's, like, you got girls that are just, like, do it, you know, get your money up. Like, it's, like, a movement of, like, you know, and then you're just doing it because of the hype. Like, you're, like, shit, like. I'm going to quit my job if I just see somebody doing it. Like, yeah. It's not so much because you want to do it. It's just because you just want to get like, it's just, it's just pushed by money and money only. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like if someone's doing a job, I know there's people out there that work and they work jobs that they don't like where they're working at, but that's even that I wouldn't want Pauline, uh, Kiana to work somewhere where she doesn't feel like she likes working at. I want her to be doing work or being able to get her money, doing something that she enjoys doing. I feel that. And if that's what it is, then cool. But if it's like you're just doing, like, don't just do, don't do something just only solely, solely money motivated. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That's where I just lie with it. And, uh, well, good. Because at that there. point, you're a sellout. Li- yeah. Literally a sellout. And Monica, I want you to hear this part because I want your the, your input on this. I yeah. saw on a TikTok there was a debate, and I'm asking this is a question for you, Javi. So say you're at Cheesecake Factory with Kiana, and it's just you, it's just a daddy daughter date. Yeah. And Kiana's got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. What bathroom do you take her in? Um, well, I would take her to the men's bathroom. Actually, honestly, I wouldn't even take her to the bathroom. I don't know. If we're I at a restaurant, it, some, on, re- some uh, restaurants have family rooms. Yeah. If the fa- if the restaurant doesn't have a family room, honestly, knowing me, I would feel really uncomfortable. I'd probably, there's a family restaurant probably. I mean, there's probably a, a store down the road or something. Go to Walmart, Target, or we go don't, home. We, you don't have those options. Like she, you're in the middle of dinner, you just order the food. The food hasn't come here yet, or whatever the case, and she's got to go pee. There's no family room. There's two bathrooms options. You get the men's. There's no really wrong answer. Yeah, I'll just tell you. I, I think, I'll tell you I what think, I would do. I think I, think I, I would end. I would end up going to the men's bathroom because there's also the ch- that I could easily be like, oh well, why don't you just have somebody else, like a woman, take her to the bathroom? But that's my daughter. I don't want you right. to you take her to the though, bathroom. Just taking your yeah. Kids to so yeah. I would take her to. I mean, if we if we go to a men's bathroom, <gasps> we're going into a men's bathroom, but we're gonna go sit in, in a, a you know in a stall. It's gonna be closed. Does her business. Wash your hands, and we're out. What do you think, Monica? I mean. This has been going on for years. I mean, if you have a kid and you're a man, you're going to take it to the bathroom anyways. I mean, yeah. Kid has to go to the bathroom. Right, right. But yeah. what bathroom? You're not, I mean, well, if you're a guy, you're going obviously to the guy's bathroom. Just because you have a girl, you're not going to go into a female's bathroom, you know? Yeah, well, like, you can't weird. do that. Yeah. Well, what I'm yeah. saying, if you're, you're saying if him taking his daughter into the female bathroom is weird? Yeah, because obviously he is a male. So I thought I thought of it this way, and the the debate I saw... 
the dad was talking about it, and he's like, if I have a three-year-old daughter, he's like, I'm going to take her into the women's bathroom. And then all his friends around were like, oh, what? Like, that's fucking weird. Don't do that. And I'm like, okay, I, see I was like, oh, maybe that is a little weird. But as he's talking about it, though, he's talking about it, I'm looking at all the comments, and all the girls are like, oh, he's totally right. Like, I, we would I would think that he would take her into the, the girls' bathroom. One, Kiana knows what girls look like, and she knows what her body looks like herself. Like, I don't, like, thinking about it, I was like, I don't want to take my daughter into the bathroom and see a dick by any chance. You know what I'm saying? But randomly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, not like yeah, you're but the no, nobody's flashing dicks in the bathroom. I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Not like you see a lot of dicks in boys' bathrooms. Yeah. And one, um, like, maybe guys, guys' bathroom a little, like, they're a little dirty. And all the girls in the comments are like, oh, like, we would let him, like, long as you make yourself known, say, hey, I'm taking my daughter to the bathroom, she has to go to the bathroom, like, there's not one girl in that bathroom that would have a problem with that. Like, she's a little girl. She should use the bathroom at the girl's bathroom and, like, not go to the boy's bathroom, like, just because, like, one is dirty. Like, one, you don't, like. It's weird, though, but the thing is, women's bathrooms are dirtier than men's. That's what I hear. Yeah. If you Sometimes think you got bitches blowing it up in there. <laughs> and if you think about it, girls shit. always have to sit. Yeah, but guys Dudes don't. don't, they, don't really, they ain't lifting unless that seat they're up fucking though. taking a shit. How many times you see piss all over that fucking toilet though? I haven't. I'm, I've seen it. I'm not saying I haven't seen it, but it's not as like common. I'm just saying I've been in a lot of bathrooms. There's piss all over the fucking toilet seat. If I go to the urine, like the, not the urinal, but the the stall. Yeah. Shit on the back. I, honestly, of the fucking I think toilet. there's bigger problems in America than. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't. I really don't think it, it really makes a big difference. I mean, I didn't know that. You know, we have a pass to do that, but. I mean, if that's what it is, and I mean, I'm cool with that, but I don't, I still don't have a problem with her going to like a, a men's bathroom. At the end of the day, she's going to sit on a fucking toilet and do I know, business, it. It was know? just a debate on YouTube, uh, TikTok, and I just want to see yeah. what you're saying. And about. if she saw somebody's wiener, then I mean, that's just a human body, you know? It's like homeboy <laughs> sitting there fucking whacking off in front of her face, you know? Just a wiener. Yeah, I know. I don't, I definitely don't want my three year daughter seeing wieners yet. I know, but it's, I mean, it's a. It's that's why I would take her to the girls' bathroom. Yeah. I would just knock on the door by, yo, ladies. Uh, my daughter's got to use the bathroom. You mind if I take her to the bathroom? And if they all freaking out and shit, then I take her fucking to the fucking men's. I don't know. At least I would try. I don't know. I don't. I, I just honestly, I just be like, can I hold it? Hold it. We're gonna go. I'm She's someone three that, years old. She ain't holding that shit. She can. You can. You can. I've, I've been able to hold it when no, I was not. three. <laughs> shut the fuck up. And if not, you know what? She does an accident. We'll change her clothing. It's not the end of the world. You rather her piss on herself than take her to the fucking bathroom. No. No, <laughs> I'm saying if it's close by. Yeah, and then if you go to a guy's bathroom, like I mean, you're not gonna stand like by the fucking like as soon as you enter, like you're gonna not gonna stand there and just watch everyone. You're gonna walk through straight. Yeah, we're not walking stall. slowly and like looking. Yeah, yeah. Put your head down. Kyle. And like I said again, close your eyes. I mean, and like I said, I've I as a man have been to the bathroom multiple times. I have yet to see a man's penis. You never seen a wiener. I have not seen the, the only place I've seen a wiener is a fucking uh, at a fucking locker room, like at the gym. Yeah, with a fucking old 80, ass 80 old man. Yeah, old around. motherfucker just fucking sharing his fucking shriveled up everywhere. fucking shrimp. Yeah, like, bro, put some clothes. You've on, seen bro. you've seen dick in the in the bathroom. Me? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why is he looking at me? <laughs> I was like, well, I didn't know. I thought he was looking. At you. I was like, he's oh. like, oh my god, oh, my god. Yeah, bro. Fucking. <gasps> have you been into a men's bathroom? No, because every time that I walk past this, they're like straight up just fucking sweaty balls. Yeah, so I don't want my Why little daughter smelling sweaty there? balls. Or seeing sweaty balls. Or hearing sweaty balls. You've seen a dick in the bathroom though? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it now. <laughs> really? Like that? It was it a dark time? It wasn't it wasn't my choice. You know who used to crack me up every time <laughs> every time we'd go to the bathroom, Dimitri would like purposely pull his pants down? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's so funny, bro. He'd do it just to make people uncomfortable. He'd like this dude would like put his pants down to his knees and just ass cheeks. Dimitri he'd, he'd piss out. like a four year old, bro. Yeah. He literally pulls just his ass cheeks hanging out. Like he'd like a four year old put it the, the, all the way. Through. Yeah, like not all the way to his ankles and Oh, speaking of like showing your ass, I had a friend, bro, who every time he shit in public, he would get completely naked. Oh, I've heard the people that do that. Yeah. He'd show me his clothes on a, on like the, the little hanger thing. thing. Yeah. And he would like, and he would like show his feet and his feet. He's got no short pants, no socks. Barefoot on the ground? I can't. That's too much. Imagine you got to take barefoot. a bad shit. You got to take. <laughs> How do you? I don't even know, bro. Have you heard of people that's like, uh, they, they like, they put their feet on the toilet seat to take a shit? 
Like they squat. Like supposedly that's the way you're supposed to, like that's the best way to get the shit out of you. What? But I've heard that there's people that will like sit, like they'll like. They squat, yeah. They Girl, squat girls, on Girls were doing that for centuries. Squatting? No. Like not letting your ass hit the toilet? No, yeah, but like your feet is on the toilet seat. Oh, because you're talking about any, right? Any? Any from your own cells? He does that too? Yeah. He has no. a fear of like. Seeing a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The end of it. So this dude will literally like squat on top of the toilet and shit there. Yeah, that's where I heard it. Hey, you know, who called me the other day, Trey. Oh really? What did he say? Well, I, I was, I was. <laughs> Is he single? Yeah, yeah. yeah I kind of figured. <laughs> I said the same thing. He doesn't say nothing, but it's like I kind of figured. Because one, it's so funny because when people like get those type of relationships, they kind of disappear a little bit. Yeah. And this motherfucker was hanging out with like Tejan and some other friends. I was like, hmm. And then he comments on my uh, blackout game post on Instagram. He's like, yo, invite me next time. Blackout game? For the U? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this motherfucker, ain't, he ain't got a girl no more. He's single. Yeah. He calls me. He's like, what up, bro? Blah, blah. Like, just talking hmm. to me. He's like, you buying a house? He was like, trying to rent my basement out. And I'm like, he listens to the podcast, huh? Yeah. And he's like, I was like, you single, huh? He's like, yeah, he's my girl, bro, like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> like, it's I'm funny because you could, you could tell. When those motherfuckers are posting again, you know. Yeah, he, I was like, like thirst trash. I said, Trey, I seen you outside. Like, you outside now. Huh. Uh. Hey, shout out Trey, though. I'm shout happy with Trey. Trey. We got a, a single father out here. So, hey, shout out my guy. Hit him up. Let him know. He's single now, ladies. And you ever seen Deja again? Kind of- huh? What? Why are you like this? <laughs> oh, duh. You know Trey. Yeah, you know yeah, Trey. She knows. We were talking about him the other yeah. day. Yeah, Kylie Ky always brings her up every once in a while. She's like, I wonder what she's doing. I miss her low key. She Can was I a good friend. That? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, she was kind of rude, though. She was She was a, a B word. She was a little, a little psychotic. I remember that one time they got in a fight at a bar. Her and uh, Lish were being reckless. Her and Lish were talking shit to each other? No, they were just like plotting together, but they were like. Deja was being hella rude to Marco and. Uh, Marco, and Trey, Marco? yeah. What the fuck? It was crazy. Well, I thought it was a good spot to end. Yeah, let's end things. Let's end things. I got to go fucking to the house. Joe's coming over to look at some things. Well, at the house? Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, Want to move in house party on me? Um, We should do a house party and, and then like do a podcast while it's going on. Just vlog the whole thing? Kind of vlog it, yeah, but we could have like a full on podcast. I'm down. Down. Just have like random people just come sit down. Yeah. yeah. House party part five. What do you mean part five? There's, a, there's like th- four movies called The House Party. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Kid and Play. You ever heard of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, send the notifications on, please. We appreciate you guys. Um, we got interviews, um, video from Oktoberfest dropping soon here. Check those clips. Um, Hobby's working hard over here. We appreciate Hobby. Um, and. We appreciate you guys listening, and then uh, we out. Uh, Kiana, you want to say bye to everybody, Kiana? Bye. Bye. All right. It doesn't get any cooter than that, guys. All right. Peace out. We're out.